All right, what's up guys? Today we're gonna do something a little bit interesting. So I was a little bit concerned about my fuel pressure issue and then I remembered something when I was at work today. I was thinking about fuel and I was like, hey, I have a fuel pressure regulator that I bought and I never ended up using. So I have this thing. This has been laying around for probably three months. Uh, it's a boost reference fuel pressure regulator. I bought it a while back and just never used it. So the reason for this change is because I got that other engine. So the engine that I got with the rebuild on it had the return style fuel rail, which is different than the one that I have now. So I'm gonna take the other uh, fuel rail off, swap the injectors, and hook up this fuel pressure regulator and see if we can get a little bit happier fuel range up top. So I did pick up a little more uh, 3 8 fuel line and some of these little quick connects here, so. I can splice some holes together because I'm going to have to remove my old fuel pressure regulator filter thing that I got. Here is the, the new rail that I'm going to be using. So it has the, the little pressure regulator on it with the val vacuum dealy on there. So I'm probably just going to use this side with the crossover and then I should be able to just put that into the one that's already on the truck. So guys, and check this thing out. This is the Harbor Freight little uh little big light here this thing i used the 20 percent off coupon and so this came to like 30 bucks and after i hooked this thing up for the first time i was like really kicking myself for not buying one like five years ago because this thing is awesome look how much light there is so i think what i'm going to do first is i'm going to pop this little clip off of here this little torx head clip So I can get this rail out. I'm just going to keep this other rail bolted in there so I don't have to mess with it. I'll have to swap the injectors on the other side once I get it all out. but. That's gonna be an eight, not a 10. I forgot I put the factory bolts back in that are eight mil. I had a, I had some hardware store 10 mils in there before. Oh, those are like barely even tight. Cause I'm a G. Get my little AN clip off of here. All right guys, so while we're going through this, I just was wondering if you guys like this longer version like this with less editing in it, or if you would prefer me to cut out some of this kind of longer monotonous work here. Spray gas all over the place. So let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Do you like the longer version showing the work or would you like, a, like some of this edited down and condensed a little bit more? I get a towel. So I think I mentioned it in another video that I'm always I'm always impressed by how much gas is actually inside these rails. This, these things hold a lot of gas. Yep, they sure do. It seems like you can never find the end of it. Got all the injector clips off. Wonder if I can go right out the front. Throttle cable off. That'll help me quite a bit. Alright, so now I'm just going to take all these injectors and swap them into this rail. This one is the returnless style, and this one has the 5 16 return line with the vacuum regulator. So I'm going to take these injectors, swap them into this rail, and then we'll put this whole thing back in the truck. 
all the new injectors in this one and I'll throw this thing back in there <clears throat> should be pretty close to good If I can do this without any leaks, I'll be pretty happy. Usually something leaks. First time I do it, like I always like break a break an O-ring or something weird. So that looks okay, I guess. Alright, so I got this thing all buttoned back up now. I forgot to record what. I, uh, this, this one that I got from the junkyard when I replaced the intake, it was the kind that has the, uh, the return style fuel rail on it. So it has the little vacuum port right here. So that'll work perfect. Um, so a lot of this stuff I didn't really have before, but now I, now I have it. So I'm going to try it to see what it does. So put the fuel supply back up. I did the 5 16th return side here. I'm going to run a return line now back to my other return line and splice those together take that fuel filter regulator out of there and put the new one in there. If you guys aren't familiar with how I have this now, uh, this is my filter regulator dealie right here. It's just one of those Corvette, I think it is. So it has a 3 8 feed, a 5 16 return, and then a 3 8 feed all the way up to the fuel rail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that return line back to here, splice it into my return, and I'll have to do the same thing with this feed, this 3 8 feed, and this 3 8 feed. I'll have to splice these together. So now I'm going to get this thing out and I'll show it to you guys when it's done. I might try to incorporate some of these factory lines. This is a factory uh, 5 16th line. I might try to incorporate some of that into there. That'd be kind of sweet. But Alright guys, well smooth sailing as usual. I had a little bit of a leak from here. Um, I don't know why that was leaking. When I had it unbolted, it didn't leak. But then when I put these bolts tight, it would twist it back and then it would start to leak in there. So I got this thing tight now and it's not leaking. Also had a little bit of leak from the regulator. So I put some thread sealer in there. The sealer that I use is this Rector Seal 5. I had this stuff left over from when I put my furnace in and it's supposed to be good for, I don't know if you can see it, but it says right in the instructions that it's for use in devices handling gasoline, so that's a good thing. But it says it's rated for liquid pressure up to 12,000 PSI, so that stuff's supposed to work pretty good. Um, like I said, I found that stuff when I was researching thread sealant for putting my furnace in the house. Granted, it's a low pressure, but it's gas, so I wanted something that was gonna work, but work good. And when I was reading about it, it said that HVAC technicians use that stuff because you can put it into service right away when it's done. So you don't need to wait. There's no cure time. Um, it's good for use right away as soon as you're done with it. So if there's any HVAC guys who use that stuff and you can confirm it or I'm totally crazy, let me know in the comments. But that's what I'm going to try to use on this thing. Hopefully it doesn't leak. I'm probably going to leave it in the house and let it cure anyways. And then I'll throw it back on tomorrow and see what it does. I should probably add that the, the first time I primed it, it was over 100 PSI. So this regulator is adjustable to like 200 PSI or something like that. And it was cranked pretty tight. So the first time I primed it, it went way above seven, almost to eight on the scale. So I believe that's like, this is in kilograms per centimeter. So that's over 100 PSI the first time that I primed it. So maybe that's why it blew the fucking shit out and started the leak. But it probably wasn't happy with that. So turn that thing down. I ended up having to turn that little bolt like eight flats to get it to where it needed to be, but it should be set for like 58 PSI now, 60 PSI ish. All right guys, so I decided to uh, hook that thing up. I was gonna let it sit overnight, um, but I just went in and had dinner and then put the regulator in, primed it, it's not leaking. So let's try to start it and see if it, see what happens.
quite a bit rich, but I wasn't expecting it to be exact because it's completely different and the tune's gonna have to be changed. Uh, like flow rate versus KPA is gonna have to be changed now in the tune because it is now a return style with a vacuum reference. I wanted to get the shot of uh, underneath while it was actually running. So as you can see on the regulator, it was like pretty steady right at four. Uh, and that's where I set it to, and that's about uh, 60 PSI. So this scale is pretty close to bar. It's kilograms per centimeter, but one kilogram per centimeter is equivalent to like 0.98 bar. And one bar is about 14 PSI, 14.7 I think it is. So this thing is pretty much rock solid at about 60 PSI right now. I think that's where I'm gonna leave it. I might turn it down a little bit. I think normal is like 58, so close enough. I do have to get a longer length of vacuum line to hook up to that thing. Should be good for now. So let's look at my dirty laundry here. So this is the return line. This is usually a 5 16 but this is actually just a, a 3 8 hose that I slip over the 5 16 line and clamp, cramp down. Cramp, crimp, climp, cramp, whatever it is. Here's to show you what I mean by sliding the 3 8 line over. So this is the 5 16 line and here's that little flared Bundy end right here. 3 8 line actually slips right over this thing nicely and it leaves kind of a little flared end. So you just use the 3 8 line over the 5 16 Bundy and then clamp it down and it doesn't fall off. That's how I have the return on the tank end too. This is the original 3 8 line that was going to the regulator filter and I took that off and actually I had enough extra room that I was able to take the the Bundy end that was on the outfeed of the regulator filter going to the fuel rail and stuff it right into the original supply. So I had enough extra room in there and just smashed that thing down and hooked it right up to bypass that filter. So here's the return going back to the tank. This is the new line that I ran from the return on the fuel rail down into the regulator and then back to the tank. This little guy here is gonna have to go to the vacuum reference, which I still have to get the vacuum line for long enough to run all the way back here. Um, but this is how this is right now. I'm probably gonna find a way to secure this thing a little bit better than this, but this is the original clamp that I had on that regulator filter. I'm probably just gonna leave that bolted there in case I wanna switch back to it, but that's how it is for now. Find a way to secure this thing and that should be okay.